Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Marvel Monday. I, as always, am your host, the Digital Caveman, and today I will be presenting you with the Marvel Legends series Puff Adder Build a Figure Waves Wonder Man, the classic edition. Let's get into it! Let's start things off with a look at the packaging. And here we have a Marvel Legends series Build-A-Figure Puff Adder, assortment numbers and four and up, the Avengers logo. On the front, Marvel's Wonder Man. And there we have a nice digital render of the figure with some artwork in the background. It looks like very classic artwork as well. Marvel Avengers, warning, don't stick things in your pie hole that do not belong there. Plastic free packaging, except tape and glue. Hasbro print. Includes figure and six accessories. And in case you forgot, plastic free packaging. Except maybe. Oh. And that. And then on to the side, build a figure puff adder. And it has the completed build a figure with numbers corresponding down here that tells you which parts come with which figure in the wave. And this one is highlighted Marvel's Wonder Man. So you know he comes with part number four, which is also highlighted in white here. So that's nice. It's all separately subject to availability. On this side, again, very classic artwork of classic Wonder Man. Marvel Legends series. On the back, Marvel Legends series, Marvel's Wonder Man. Nice digital render of the figure and his accessories. And his puff adder pieces. Warning, attention, Octoon, don't stick things in any language pie hole that do not belong there. Don't give it to babies, and especially don't stick it in your French pie hole. Recycled print. Marvel print, small, fine, legalese, made in China print. Symbols, I'm not going to learn, Hasbro print, and a barcode. That, my friends, completes our look at the packaging. Let's take a look at the figure and his accessories. And here we have handy dandy tweezers. And first up the accessories. He does have an extra set of hands. And they're like the clawed, clawing hands, I guess you could call them. Nice molded detail. Nice coloration, in and out hinge. And that does apply to both. And he also has these two little blast effects, which go in his belt jet pods. Nice little blast effects. And I don't think we've seen these before. It's actually kind of flat along one surface and more shapely on the other side. Made out of a nice translucent plastic. Let's take a look at Simon Williams himself. Wonder Man. And I have to say, I don't think there's a whole lot of paint going on on this figure. And that's that's fine for what it is. It, it doesn't really need a whole lot. Uh, most of it is probably here in the face. And I have to say, nice hair sculpt. No wash or anything in it that I can tell. Nice translucent glasses and they are glued into place, which is fine because he really doesn't take these off much in this costume because his eyes look funky and I wonder if they're funky back in there. It kind of looks, it's hard to see on the camera, but it does look like the eyes are painted black with 
maybe a touch of red in there for the iris but again like I said it's hard to see it on camera then I think the main torso is molded in this color of this turtleneck which is a new thing I don't believe I've seen a turtleneck on Marvel Legends before and then of course the jacket here is an overlay it's got this paint app for the zipper and the belt and the belt buckle again not a lot of paint going on on the back now, these bracelets or cuffs whatever you want to call these right here are separate pieces I do believe they are the classic Captain Marvel or Marvel's bands which have been reused several times that's the first figure I can remember seeing these on them might have been on another one I'm not sure legs molded in plastic they appear to be on well, the arms too maybe appear to be from Red Skull or Do Dormammu from the super villain wave where they're wearing their classic jumpsuits that's where that appears and I do believe the boots might be different I could be wrong but overall I have to say it's a pretty nice looking figure and a good rendition of this version of the character or this um, costume for the character rather let's take a look at his articulation he can look up that high he can look down that far he's got chicken neck and it does seem like the neck inside the turtleneck is separate from the torso and the head and it looks like there's a ball at the bottom and then maybe a dumbbell in the neck all kinds of waggle going on there can do the full exorcist at the shoulders 360 degree rotation uh, slightly better than 90 degrees maybe maybe just right at 90 degrees cut here at the upper bicep for another 360 degree rotation double hinge pinless elbow and gives you that much bend 360 degree rotation at the wrist on and in and out hinge <clears throat> same on the other side as well in and out hinge and I don't think there's any cuts inside the overlay here but I think there's either a ball or a dumbbell at the waist and he gives you a little bit of hula motion going on there allows him to bend back that far I don't know I take it back there might be a hinge in there it's it's hard to tell but it bends back that far bends forward that far so not a whole lot does have a 360 degree rotation at the waist at the hips he gives you that much of the splits the bottom of the jacket does get in the way of that some same for kicking forward he can kick forward that far back maybe a step step and a half cut at the upper thigh 360 degree rotation there double hinged pinless knee there we go gives you that much bend so very good actually more like that so that's good at the shin there is a boot cut at the top of the boot at the ankle tilts down that far up that far and forward-facing pin 
for Rocker. Now as far as the belt jets go, you can see they have little ports in them right here. And you take the little blast effects on the flat side. Flat side goes up against the figure and you just port that right in there. I hope they do another like the West Coast version West Coast Avengers version of his costume and, and when they do I hope they give him a little bigger effect for his belt jets than than this. There you have it, my friends. A look at Wonder Man and his accessories. It's time for my favorite part of a review, comparisons. And here we have the Marvel Legends series, Puff Adder, Build-A-Figure Wave, Wonder Man, with the Avengers retro-carded classic Vision, and the Scarlet Witch from the Amazon exclusive Family Matters 3-pack. For our final set of comparisons, here we have the Marvel Legends series classic Wonder Man with the final Marvel Legends series comparison, making his cameo appearance, Stan the Man Lee, from G.I. Joe Classified Series, we have the Hasbro Pulse Exclusive Regal Variant Cobra Commander. From Star Wars The Black Series, we have the Archive Edition 501st Legion Clone Trooper. And for a 7-inch comparison from the Masters of the Universe Masterverse line, the 40th Anniversary He-Man. For final thoughts on the Marvel Legends series, Puff Adder, Build-A-Figure Wave, Wonder Man, or Classic Wonder Man. I have to say, it's it's not the best figure. I think it's a really smart reuse of the Red Skull slash Dormammu supervillains wave legs and arms. The jacket overlay is nice. The jetpack effect, you know, it was it was nice addition to the figure. And if you like that classic Wonder Man look, I mean this is this is a good figure for you. I much prefer how he appeared in the later 80s in the, the black and red. And I don't... I know they've done one in a black and red suit. I did not get that one, but I think that was a more modern version of it. I'm looking for maybe like the West Coast Avengers version where he had a little bit of a mullet, maybe, and, you know, the black and red uniform with the bigger belt pack but this was I will say this one is a needed figure especially if you're trying to do some more of the classic Avengers team what a lot of people think of when they think of Avengers And again, like I said, overall it's a nice figure. You know, the, the, the turtleneck part, which I think is mostly the upper, the whole torso, I think. That's new sculpt. The head is new sculpt. I'm not sure about the boots. The cuffs of the jacket or bracelets, whatever you want to call them. Those are reused from, I think, the Marvel. 
Captain Marvel figure. But the overlays are all new. And again, I like this figure for what he is and, you know, the representation of the character that he is. I think this is a good figure for that. Well, that does it for the review. I hope that you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very, very much for supporting this channel through viewing. Comment below, like, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews or just help the channel out further. Or both, that's even better. And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. That's a wrap, folks. I'll see you next time.